Hey, what's up? I'm sure a lot of you guys are maybe wondering where I've been, or if you're aware about the whole situation surrounding me, maybe you're wondering why it's taking me so long to make this video. Either way, um, I do have some stuff to say and to clarify, and I'm not going to waste your time with this. Um, I just want to provide some much needed context to this entire situation and make some stuff public that has not been made public uh, to clarify and defend myself against a lot of the stuff that was said, whether it came from myself or from other people uh, speculating. So yeah. So if you're not aware about what happened, pretty much there was an audio that was circulating around of something that I said um, about two years ago now is when it first was made public. Pretty much I was admitting to a lot of horrible things that without the context needed um, sound pretty bad and if they were true would be horrible. What you need to know about this entire situation pretty much is that that audio was a snippet of a larger conversation that took place between me, my girlfriend, a few of her friends is acting as her support system and also my mom and dad who were also there to hear out my girlfriend at the time who had issues with me. And the only reason that audio became public is because one of her friends without my girlfriend's knowledge actually took a snippet of the audio, removed the context from it and decided to publicize it for everyone to see. Getting into the main claim of what I said where I forced myself on my girlfriend while she was drinking, pretty much what I need to say above all else is that that is absolutely factually untrue because I've never ever met my girlfriend in person and I've never done anything with another woman and forced them to do anything physically that they were uncomfortable with. Additionally, I'd also like to add that number one, my girlfriend at no point was ever underage and number two, the fact that up until even today, I still do not know what my girlfriend looks like. Therefore, it would have been factually impossible for me to even meet her in the first place because I have still never seen a picture of her. The reason we even did that in the first place was because we were watching a show called Love is Blind at the time, which if you don't know, kind of puts people together and doesn't show them what they look like until after they agree to either get engaged with them or to break it off. Either way, we thought it was a cute idea and we wanted to implement it into the relationship and that's why the dynamic was what it was. Originally, what we planned to do was kind of do like a cute little face reveal thing and as the relationship soured over time, it became clear that she wasn't comfortable showing her face. Um, her friend at the time had assured me that she wasn't a catfish or anything like that. So that wasn't even a concern for me. What it really came down to was us just being in a good spot in the relationship that she would do it. And I eventually wanted to get to that point. However, it never happened. So up until today, I still don't know what she looks like. And the reason I neglected to say that in the audio is because everyone else, all parties knew that my girlfriend and I were purely an online relationship. As far as explaining why these interactions between me and my girlfriend even happened at all while she was drinking comes down to the fact that my girlfriend at the time had a drinking problem. My girlfriend's drinking problem was a very big part of the reason I decided to cut ties with her at the end there and the main part of it was because sometimes she would tell me she would never drink, sometimes she would want to do things with me, it got to the point where I didn't even know if she was drunk half the time or she'd be drunk for hours on end. And on the other end of the spectrum, she'd be drinking during broad daylight and she'd get to the point where she would embarrass me and herself in front of our Discord server that is now deleted. I've made the argument that I myself could have known that she was drunk based on her demeanor and how she was talking if she was slurring her words. Sometimes we weren't in call, it wasn't that apparent to me and she was using autocorrect on her phone. Or sometimes she would drink little bits throughout the day and we would be in call and it would be to the point where I would have no idea she was drunk until after the fact. So again, it became a very difficult situation for me to address properly if she was drunk. Sometimes I would ask her, she just wouldn't respond or she wouldn't tell me. And then two, she would want to do things with me and then not say that she was drunk because then she would know that I would decline her request to escalate things with me. Also, really quickly before we continue, I'd like to mention the fact that I really wanted to use more proof in this video than what I have. I believe what I have is enough, however, I would have used more, but the fact that my Discord account was deleted and it was terminated, um, that I will cover it with why it happened later in this video, obviously, prevented me from pretty much gathering the proof that I would have needed to make like a solid case against everything that was said against me. I'm only really going off of what was made public and also other messages that I just happened to save at the time. So I hope that's okay. To back up these claims, I have some screenshots that I'd like to share with you guys, pretty much of her best friend speaking to me about how drunk she was at the time. This screenshot here shows me trying to explain to her friend to get her to stop drinking. I would have messaged her myself at the time. However, this was after we broke up. As you can see here, her friend says that she misses me and I tell her friend that I needed to get some sleep. At this time, I'd explained to her best friend that I wanted nothing to do with her because I wanted her to get help for herself. And after he communicated that to my ex-girlfriend, apparently she went crazy at the time and got a knife. And it even got to the point where her best friend needed to call her sister because she said something about hurting herself. And at the time I disagreed with this because of the fact that I wanted her to get real help from the police and get put in a facility so that she could get proper help instead of her sister just kind of calming things down because this was a regular occurrence that happened. However, the knife was a new development and I felt like it was enough. 
As you can see by these screenshots, I felt so sick by the interaction that this was even happening in the first place because of the fact that her drinking problem was such a big deal for me that that's why I cut things off in the first place. So as you can see by all those messages, this was a serious problem that I had with her and it actually ultimately led to me wanting to take a break from her and kind of just get help for myself while she got help for her stuff as well. So now putting that in context with the greater situation here, you can see that my girlfriend had a drinking problem. What I'm showing here is only one extreme. Uh, the other extreme would be that she would wanna be intimate with me. And for obvious reasons, I'm not gonna show that on YouTube, but I can guarantee you that this is something that would happen. So now if you go back and review what I actually said, you can see that here, I was trying to explain it to my parents in a way they'd understand. And then also a combination of me just trying to say what my girlfriend wanted to hear so that she would, um, you know, be put at ease about this whole situation and that me and her would kind of figure it out from there. Regarding the second part of the audio where you can hear me saying something along the lines of me being reckless with uh, people who are underage and that there were fans involved and that I had pictures on my phone. What I have to say in response to that is that nobody that I ever engaged with online had a bigger age gap than three years maximum if there was an age gap at all, which usually there wasn't. There was only one fan that I spoke to and that fan was 17 turning 18 when I was 20 years old. I blew up on YouTube at around October of 2018 and then I stopped uploading at around March of 2021. That would have made me at the youngest when I had a platform at 19 years old and then the oldest at 21. However, I met my girlfriend when I was roughly 21 years old, and then I was pretty much single from when I was 19 up until 20. Now, at the time, I believe that any age gap that I had really wasn't that big of a deal and it was negligible. However, now, obviously, I realize that that's completely not the case. However, at the time, my reasoning for this, which is not an excuse that I'd like to mention, would be the fact that I knew people personally that had a similar age gap being 20 and 17, similar age gaps along those lines in my real life and then also online. I didn't think it was that big of a deal considering the fact that I was a very young adult versus someone who was just about to turn 18. I didn't see it as that big of a deal because of that. And obviously, while that isn't an excuse, my actions are indefensible considering that I had a platform. That being said, it should have fallen onto me, the older person, to understand the dynamic there. And even though that obviously now I would never do anything similar to that, I should have known better at the time and I understand that now. Bringing this into context now with the audio in mind, you can hear that you have heard it. I'm pretty much borderline in tears. I'm about to cry and the reason for that being because it was expressed to me at this point for the first time that having a dynamic like that was not appropriate and it was something that I could get in serious trouble over, regardless of how close the other person is to turning 18. Throughout that entire call, pretty much from the beginning to the end of it, after it had been made apparent to me that, again, I had made a huge mistake, I kind of mentally checked out throughout the entire thing. Um, I was agreeing to things. I remember very clearly I agreed to things that just straight up never happened or agreed to the worst possible uh, versions of what had ha actually happened just to kind of get my girlfriend at the time off my back because, again, she wanted this to be rectified. She thought I needed help at the time, which... Very well, I did need help for multiple different things. However, what's important to note is that during this entire call that was uh, that was done, um, however much of it was recorded or not, I agreed to many different falsehoods, many different things that um, if made public, I could pretty much disprove or at the very least clarify as I have with this. However, um, what I am doing in this video is to just clarify what is public and to just kind of go from there. The next thing I'd like to bring attention to would be the fact that my Discord account and my Discord server that I had are now deleted and that Discord themselves removed it. While it is true that Discord themselves did remove my account and my server, the reason for that was actually for harassment and cyberbullying, as you can see from the email they sent me here. I've seen a handful of people speculate that the reason my account was completely banned and wiped was because I was engaging with people who were predatory and it was I was in some sort of ring there was nothing of the sort ever going on and I want those people banned as much as you to be honest with you but the reason my account was actually banned was because my girlfriend at the time did report it and I have proof as you can see here all right so this is just a little audio for all you rats crying about fucking, um chat server <laughs> this is hilarious so let me start off by saying Yes, it's me. I reported it. Big whoop. I admitted to it. Chris knows about it. I mean, um, Shad knows about it. 
That audio is a snippet of a larger audio that was sent to me anonymously that pretty much shows that she was the one that reported it. And she reported it because I no longer wanted to be with her and I assumed that she was just going nuclear. The only messages that I can assume got my account banned was probably messages that me and her shared where me and her were arguing with each other. We would always call each other names and we would attack each other in our character and all sorts of stuff when we would get in arguments. Obviously, as you can tell from the entire point of this video, our relationship was not a healthy one. Additionally, it could have been for some politically incorrect, like distasteful jokes that me and her would have in private that while I personally have nothing against, and even though they are distasteful, Discord might have a different opinion and they might not like that on their platform and that's completely fine. Also, really quickly before I move on to the next point, um, I'd like to mention how Discord bans work in case anyone thinks I'm like evading because I do have a Discord account now. However, I'd like to mention that there are two different types of account bans. There's account termination where it says here the user's account gets disabled and then deleted later. They are allowed to make a new account, which um, is on the official Discord wiki. And then on the second uh, type of a ban would be the permanent ban, which this user is permanently banned from Discord if this user had a phone number attached to their account. Their phone number is blacklisted from being used on any other account and a phone verification will be set on the user's IP address. They are not allowed to use Discord again. So what you can gather from that is that if I really was in some horrible, disgusting uh, ring or, or whatever, I would have been permanently banned and probably the authorities would have been involved or something along those lines. But as you can see from the email and from what Discord actually did, I was allowed to make a new account, which is why I have one now. And I do have my phone number associated to my new account or my phone number is not blacklisted either. Speaking about the authorities, by the way, um, I saw a couple people speculate that I was in jail or that um, I was in prison, something along those lines. Um, I've also heard people talk about rumors of him going to jail, you know, because the 15 year olds in the feet is kind of illegal. There are rumors that he's in prison and that's the reason why he hasn't posted. It's actually a good theory. I've never ever been approached by a police officer uh, regarding this at any point. And if they were to approach me, I'd gladly cooperate. I don't think I've ever been approached by a police officer in general, to be honest with you. But the final person I want to talk about is someone who apparently came out a few months ago saying that they were 16 years old, I was 20 years old, and that I was making advances onto them, and then I found out about their age, and then I immediately backed away. Um, I can't find this individual's posts myself on Twitter as of right now making this video. However, my perspective of that situation would be I found out about their age, I immediately backed away from the situation, and then that was the end of it. I never engaged with that person in any intimate way. Now that I've covered and clarified all the allegations that were made on me while I was a YouTuber, let's touch on the allegations that were made on me before I was a YouTuber, but still over the age of 18, and in some cases actually under, but we'll get to that. This person was included on the main video that broke the story about the situation, and this person who made the video on me tried to use this example to prove that I had a pattern of talking to underage fans. Apparently this is like a pattern of behavior with him, asking his fans for inappropriate pictures. This will only take a second to disprove as cringe as the messages are, trust me. Um, pretty much what I'm going to do, I'm just going to zoom in on one of them and you're going to see that these were taken in 2017. As you can see, the tweet was made in 2018 and you can see that these messages were taken in the early part of 2017. That proves two things. Not only does it prove that I was a minor at the time, and it also proves the fact that I didn't even have a YouTube channel with a substantial following at the time, which could have made it impossible for this person to be a fan. Additionally, I also know this girl involved. I remember very clearly messaging her. She was 16 at the time. And again, I was 17 turning 18, and I believe she was 16 turning 17. So again, I saw no problem with this message at the time. And I chose to not address this at the time because I mean, look at the messages. Can I see? Oh, whoa, I, it's so cringe. The other reason this person couldn't have been a fan because again, like I said, I remember talking to this person. I never met her from YouTube or any kind of Twitter or anything like that. I met her from a Discord server, from a Minecraft server I used to play when I was a kid. I believe she tried to say that she was uncomfortable by the incident as well, which if she was, she had never made that apparent to me. And if, and if she had, I definitely would have stopped. There's also another girl that came out pretty much saying that um, I had made her uncomfortable. Um, you could see that the messages here were in February of 2016. This would have made me, I believe, 15 or 16 years old. And I believe that I was still friends with her even well after her posting this for some reason. Again, I don't know why she said this, but she never messaged me saying that she had a problem with any of our interactions. Also going on my Wikitubia, like my official page on this Wikitubia, which I believe people use for like referencing stuff. See here that I was accused of asking two 15 year old girls for feet pictures when I was 17 and 18. Um, and if you click the video that references this, you can see that the video is unavailable. You try to click it, nothing happens. There was never another 15 year old for whatever reason. I have no idea why Wikitubia is saying that there is. The other person I believe was the original person that I just mentioned, which was again, 16 years old when I was 18. And now we're going to talk about the other individual who was 15 years old when I was turning 18. 
These next messages come from someone who said that they were 15 years old when I was 18. Showing my versions of the screenshots right here, you can see that at no point was age ever discussed between me and this other person, nor was it mentioned on their profile at any point, and the messages begin and end where you see them here, to the best of my memory. Back when I was following this person when I was 17 years old, turning 18, I genuinely thought I was following someone who was a lot older than me, just based on the art that they have on their profile, the skill that it took to make something like that, I genuinely thought was an indication of age, and that they were a little more advanced of an artist. Most importantly, these conversations never led to any pictures being exchanged. Had I known of this individual's age, let alone the fact that they were a guy, I would have never messaged them in the way I did, and I would have never advanced on them. Even though I was only 3 months into turning 18, I should have known better as I mentioned before. It's not my best look and I am sorry for that. On the left of the screenshot you can see some messages that were taken from a private account that I made when I was a minor. Just in case it comes up, I have made very very edgy jokes on that account. I've made lots of things in order to either get attention or to just make people laugh. Honestly, I just kind of used that as a vent account as most people my age would have done back then. Next, I'd like to talk about these allegations here that were actually retracted. And you can see someone here responding to the fact that I was 17 in the messages at the time that this person had posted online. I just wanted to address this one even though it's retracted just to be thorough and address every single thing that has been said about me over the years. Are these messages creepy? And regardless of my age, would I be considered creepy for sending them? 100%. I completely own that and I would never deny that in any video or in any statement ever. What this video is really about is proving the fact that I never forced myself on my girlfriend at any point, and two, I never had a pattern of preying on underage fans ever. There are no words to describe how ashamed I am of the person I was. Obviously, I can't change the past, so I can't do much more than to just apologize for it and to just say that that's not who I am anymore. I'm gonna be honest, while making this video and just reminiscing and going through old messages in general about how I was over two years ago at this point, cringy doesn't even begin to describe how I was back then. Um, I'm just glad now that I have my therapist and my support system, my friends. If it isn't already obvious already, this isn't like a video to like try to win people's like trust back or like their forgiveness. I did the mistakes that I made. I own my own mistakes. That is on me as a person and I will always own that. And this will probably follow me for, you know, the rest of my life or at least a good portion of it. And that's completely fine. I own that because that's honestly the best thing I can do in this situation. I've took, it's taken me a long time to kind of realize that. But I'm at that position now, and for the people who are wondering maybe why I've been gone for so long, uh, obviously, putting being put in this situation in the first place was a huge wake-up call to maybe go out and, you know, get offline, because I was terminally online for a while. So, you know, just kind of get out there and, you know, touch some grass, you know, do things that normal 21-year-olds do that don't have YouTube channels. And so that's what I was out doing. Um, honestly, I am ready to return to YouTube now, as I mentioned, and I'm pretty excited about it. Honestly, I have some stuff planned. Also, for the record, I just want to say that I was always going to respond to this. I was never going to just leave and never come back. I'm not like that. That just goes against who I am. Uh, in general, but to be honest with you, this was really hard to do, um, and I didn't want to ever do it until the fact that I knew that I was mentally ready to do this, and to get it over with, and to just address it all at once. Had I addressed it when, just before I left, or during that period, even up until, you know, a few months ago, I probably would have botched this entire thing completely, and I wouldn't have given you guys the response that you guys deserve. And in combination with the severity of everything, I decided to, again, take a really big step back from everything, and to just focus on getting better, focus on getting therapy, and uh, growing as a person, and I do feel like I'm at that point now, where I genuinely am happy with who I am, and I just want to come back and do this again. But, um, if anyone feels like I've wronged them in my time on YouTube, or even prior, Feel free to reach out. Honestly, um, I'm all here for making uh, amends and stuff like that. Even though I'm not that person anymore, you know, I hope I can give some people some closure if they need it. In this video, I believe that I've addressed everything, you know, that was being attached to my name. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much everything. But if anything else happens, I will be debunking and clarifying what I need to clarify and debunk respectively. I think I've made it very clear of what really happened in this situation here. I've said my truth in this video as I see it. And I personally believe that that is the ultimate version of events. Regardless though, whether you still want to watch me or support me or even tolerate me as a person, that's totally up to you. I'm not going to try to influence your opinion on that. I just wanted to say things objectively as they happened and as I see them at this moment. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I really wanted this video to be as short and sweet and to the point as possible. And I hope you guys got the answers that you guys maybe wanted from this. Um, other than that though, I appreciate you guys for watching and I will see you guys soon. Goodbye.